Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome you all to another video from my workshop. My friend Step4 invited me to a Prague GG for an online raid, so I come to see the whole crew, Burry, Bingus, Filchek and Step4. I couldn't say no to such an invitation cause everything was ready and I came for the ready thing. I agreed straight away to invitation and spawn in their base on Prague GG. <laughs> <laughs> Guys are talking in Czechoslovakian, so I will not include their language in this video. My first thought was to take all the weapons, kill them all and change their locks. But my conscience would not allow that. And also I don't want to piss them off. Remember kids, don't let strangers in your house. We had a little chit chat and it was time for the first mission. Diesel benzene. Diesel benzene. We made a no few way. jokes of my accent and it was time to move on. First mission it's simple. To build a small base next to an abandoned military base for the MLRS strikes. And of course, first of all I wanted to see the base we're gonna raid. My friends had some problems with a certain groups of Russians, which take over the excavator and bully the whole area. And also the fact they live next to excavator means they're gonna be loaded. And that's the point. Step quickly build a base while I was covering him. Everything was going according to the plan. We built a little base, put our sleeping bags there and got ready for a next assignment. Step backed all team members. Alright, alright. It's okay, it's not so big. It's time to mark the base for the MLRS strike. Yeah, okay. Uh, closer. A little closer, yeah. A little bit more, yeah. And now. Yeah, do it. I got it, bro. All good. Okay. We can go. Base was marked. It's time to prepare all the resources and things required for the raid. We're gonna go there with the cars. Alright, now the team was talking about the strategy for the raid. We also make sure and double check if we have everything. It's a one-way journey for all of us. It's time for a road trip. Let's go. The base was in the other end of the map. From the forest we move to a desert. A paradise for snipers. There was a few other bases around. We are expecting some visitors. We stop the cars, check the area and continue the journey on the foot. We came in style. Rock and roll, baby. Enemy's base is right in front of us. They had no idea what's waiting for them. Let's have a look what's happening inside their house. One of them was on the roof doing some basic work, checking the area. Luckily, he was blind and we had a time to build a raid base. They were online, exactly what we wanted. It was a team of four, but right now only two are online. But believe me, as soon as the rockets fall, all the rest will join. Also, don't forget the area is full of neighbors, 
and grabs and we expect them also. The demo replay was given to us by the admin of the server after the raid. That's why I can use it for these fantastic cinematics to see what's happening on both sides from all angles. It was time to play some extra bugs around the area. You need to be ready for everything, and especially in Rust, you know the deal. The time is ticking, we need to build fast. We place our beds and set up the rake base. Everybody has something to do like this, we didn't waste any seconds. The base we are raiding is not the smallest, so we have to build a good, compact raid base. From the rumor my friends heard they have lots of rockets, so we are expecting a heavy resistance. Don't forget, in online raid you only have one chance and you need to be ready for everything. You have to calculate with every possibility and of course predict a lot. Any second now an enemy can realize something's happening in front of his base. They need to get ready as well for the defense. We were almost done and our neighbors finally realized something's up. Let's have a look what happened when they find out something's happening in front of their base. That was their reaction. In panic mode, first thing you do always is close the doors. The next thing you are texting all your friends from your team on Steam to join the fight. But don't forget to get an online raid, it's a big thing because most of the people these days raiding offline. If somebody wanna give you online, always show them respect and just enjoy the ride, whatever you win it or lose it. It's all about having fun. But don't forget, even one person in online defense can do a difference. Simply, just never underestimate it. More people in online defense, harder for the raiders to raid the base. Our base was ready and set up. It's time to go home and get the boom. Snipers needs to hold the positions while we get back. Alright guys, we are flying home, yeah, for the boom. Hold the line. We're gonna send the MLRS where we're gonna start the raid. Oh. It's time to teleport back to the base, take a minicopter and bring all the boom. You can feel the conflict in the air. Everybody's getting ready mentally, in the real life and in the game. I grabbed second gear and went straight back. Whoever will shut us down now will be a really lucky guy. We are full of rockets. I let the guys lead the raid so I can have a look how they play to understand their style. The raiders need to defend us while we are landing. To bring the boom before the raid base is ready is not always the best idea, especially in online raid. Yep, yep, we are coming guys, cover us. We made it back alive. It's time for the action. We're gonna stretch your time a little bit and wait for the MLR strike. A little sniper battle to test enemy skills. Rockets are safe and sound in the raid base. Let's hope now nobody will raid us. Time to snipe. Let's go. I hit. There. Nice, good job, good job. Night is coming. Hit, headshot. We need to wait for the night to go. It's dangerous to raid at night, especially because of the grabs and you don't see where you are shooting at. They said our enemy has lots of rockets. I'm pretty sure and I know when he's gonna use them. It's time for the MLR strike. We hit the target perfectly. That was a big wake up call for them. Then 
gameplay starter should also a normal rocket. It's time to push hard and make at least one big hole in the base. Hit! <laughs> the boys could easily hit him because he had a glowing skin. He probably didn't realize. Let's see it from their perspective. Fair play to the enemy, he had a lots of rockets and he was trying to do the best to destroy as much as possible as well. Luckily we had a big and strong raid base and that was the point. We expected a lots of rocket resistance. But of course, as expected, the other teams joined as well. And they started to snipe us from the left side. It slowed us down a little bit because we couldn't stand on the roof. But anyway, don't worry, we don't plan to stay on the roof all the time. We're gonna move down very soon. Enemy was throwing a good amount of rockets at us, while the other half of our team was trying to deal with the snipers. I don't know who they were and what they wanted, but they probably come to enjoy the shooting range. But from the demo replay, I also realized they had problems from the other base behind us. Everybody sniped everybody. And everybody was trying to kill everybody. It was a pure rust. This luckily bought us some time. Alright guys, you're rocking it going. Damn, that was close. They started so we quickly use this time for repairs which were necessary. We all know it's gonna be more wild in a day, but everybody can see. It's time to shoot more rockets. I'm ready to destroy anything. Our enemies outsmarted us and they throw emulators at us. We had no idea until it was too late, but it turned in our favor. God is real. Yo guys, yo guys, uh, can you hear? It's coming at them, at them, uh, not at us. <laughs> they made a mistake and probably a wrong calculation. Enough of roof play. It's time to push forwards on foot. Job has to be done. to push as much as possible and give no brief out for the enemy. The last thing we want is them to seal the base. We are expecting an armor wall behind this metal, but we have plenty of rockets. Full ground offensive was launched. The rats from the neighboring area come to visit as well. Uh, sniper dead, sniper dead, up there. By the look of it, it looks like they were allies. They were shooting at us, not at them. It became obvious in a little time they were helping the defenders. Jump for your life. Lots of team members were on timer. There was a few of us fighting. Everywhere. 
Everybody wanted a piece of cake. There was more and more teams coming from all sides. Only now, by looking at the demo, I understood the silent shots. We had no idea at the time. Everybody was there to grab, to loot and to kill you mercilessly. No feelings involved, everybody's here to hunt you down. We have to deal with a free situation at a time. The snipers on the left, the rats at the back and the raid. Sometimes we get our ass kicked, but luckily we pick ourselves up quickly back on our feet. Our enemies were under pressure, they had to change their positions. Like a good grabs they were, they took everything they could and ran away from the other side. It was time for me to leave the base and join the fight on the foot as well. The shots were coming from everywhere. You did, you did, you did. Nice, nice, nice. Pick me, pick me, pick me. And pizza, dead. Not the roof, not the roof. Uh, MP5 that killed you is dead. That, uh, yeah. <laughs> I rocketed his ass. Yes, sir. Not the roof, not the roof. My friends were dying in front of my eyes all the time. But the base was open. Let's sort this mess out. Yep, come in, come in, come in. This is the right time to push inside the base. <laughs> As expected, they are leaving next to the excavator. They were loaded. Step had already full inventory of sulfur. We were still dealing with the rats in the area. I love online raiding. That's the real kick in the rust. Sarka dead. Few of us were wounded, but we defend them well. Another down? Yeah, I didn't want to help. What should I help? Go cut on shooting. There was one more heavy plate guy in the shooting floor. We needed one more rocket for the wall. Uh, here, uh, take, take, rockets. He's inside, we need to push. Uh, he's low, he's low, uh, finish him. Nice, 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 we're in. 
Oh shit, I'm going to flip over here. Hey, two, hurry, 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 hurry. Steam. There's still the heavy plate guy. We need to deal with him. Push. We got their TC. Finally. There was a plenty of loot, but the best things they probably moved away. But right now I was not focusing on the loot, I was focusing on how to quickly seal the base. Um, I'm boom. Alright, Bill and TC? Uh, only my external, only my external. They had externals, but I still could build there, luckily. The MLR strike destroyed one TC in the front, exactly where we need. Luckily, I had my fire bullets on. Somebody come to visit us. Get it, 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 get the boys throw another Emlar strike. It was time to hide inside. The roof was still occupied by our enemies. We are so close to win this raid. We need to push really hard right now. I closed the base entry with tier 3. We quickly check the loot and take bits and bobs. At the same time, I was trying to seal the base. I could supply boys with some rockets. Alright, guys, we got rockets. Uh, everybody, take three, please. We can destroy the ceiling from the bottom. Alright, careful, shooting. No. You did, you did, you did, Tipek did. That was really close, he was holding an HP. You probably thought we are starting in the other side. Alright guys, go and push the roof, push the roof. We got the roof. I was still expecting somebody here, but they were all dead. Looks like we take the full control of the base. We got it, <laughs> we got it, they all dead. They all dead, bro, GG. Cheesy boys, we won. Alright guys, let's quickly seal the base. Yeah. We got it, boys, nice, GG, nice. But the rats did not give up. They came from the other side and tried to get as much as possible while we were checking their first starter base. It was time to clean the cockroaches. They were coming from the new sites and we brought some reinforcements. We had to retreat to a little base behind us to get some health back. The plan is simple. On three, we storm out together. Alright, are you ready? Yes. One, two, three, go!
Nice. Yeah. 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 I had to loot all the dead bodies and bring the loot back because there is so many weapons on the floor. Any naked can just come and start to fuck us up. It's crazy, man. It's so much loot. There was the last little flung base standing. We wanted to check it out. Nice. Nice. But there was nothing. It was all gone. Looks like we got it all. Looks like the whole situation calmed down. It's time to seal the base. Boys had some problems with silence M2 from the mountains. It was dark and it was really hard to see it. Meanwhile, I was focusing on sealing the base. I'm down, I'm down. Uh, pick me up, please. Man, that was super weird. How he could see me, man? What the, what the fuck? Guys, yeah, that was weird, man. He might be on. I don't know. It's weird. Better to stay away and finish the job. Alright, listen, I'm gonna uh, seal the base and we're gonna talk later, yeah? Because it, it has to be done, bro. Yeah. Looks like the raid was over. We brought all the loot back to the raid base. We sealed the base properly and uh, brought all the loot back. Check out the boxes, not bad at all for vanilla. Even there wasn't much boom, only 9 rockets left. The enemy threw lots of rockets at us. It was a good fun. High five for the team. No. Boom, boom, boom. Not bad, not bad. Check it out. We're gonna check the loot for the end, ladies and gentlemen, before we're gonna close the video. Not bad at all. Don't forget, guys. Online raid is the biggest fun in Ras. Whatever you are attacking or you are defending. Thank you for watching. All this was recorded on Prague GG, a Czech server. Check it out and perhaps stop there one day. Check out another videos on my channel fully in English. I'm running a Slovakian channel, but as well you can find me here on MG Ra Survival English version. And now another one. Next video, let's go!